Now this 23rd Yoga Sutra of the Yoga Darshana Samadhi Pada is a very very important sutra, quite well known. The sutra suggests, gives totally a separate individual practice itself for the Chitta Vritti Nirodha and the sutra is and along with the sutra Patanjali introduces a new concept in the entire Yoga Darshana and the Sutra is Ishwara Pranidhanadva Ishwara Pranidhanadva Pranidhanadva Va means or or refers here to whatever said before this sutra. All the intensities, all the qualities, all the requirements, the depths, the dimensions and the directions, the requirements, what are all the things which was told now, expressed till now, Patanjali takes at one side and introduces Ishwara Pranidhanad Va or or means again all of that those things or Va means Ishwara Pranidhanad the word used here is Pranidhana. Pranidhana is total surrender. Pranidhanat from total surrender or through total surrender. From total surrender or through total surrender. This surrender to whom? To what? Surrender to Ishwara, what a beautiful concept, a dimension Patanjali brings in this sutra. Complete, absolute, total surrender to Ishwara. This alone can bring, can take, can establish can attain in that state of Chitta Vritti Nirodha. So, Ishra Pranidhana itself is raised to that level. Practice of surrender to Ishra. Surrendering to Ishra itself is the highest practice. And when we say Ishra here, commonly, normally understood translated word Ishwara into English is all like Bhagawan, God, Lord, like that. But Ishwara is not that. What is Ishwara is also defined, is also described by Maharshi Patanjali in the next sutras. So we should not take it granted. Ishwara means God. Ishwara means Lord, Bhagawan. No, the qualities have been given for that. And this means that one can become Ishwara himself. Because having when it is when having the qualities, when the qualities have been defined, described, and if the qualities have been developed possessed that person, that sadhak will be an Ishwara. Ishwara as a human being, Ishwara as a being or Ishwara as a state of a being. 
ईश्वर तत्व ईश्वर एज ए कॉन्सेप्ट बट ईश्वरत्व ईश्वर इज नॉट समथिंग विच इज बियॉन्ड ह्यूमन माइंड अचीवेबल अटेनेबल डिस्कवरेबल एंड इट इज एक्सप्रेसेबल दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायमेंशन ऑफ योग दर्शन स्पेसिफाइंग एंड ब्रिंगिंग द फैक्ट दैट द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योग will transform can transform one into ishwar the ishwaratva in the beings will be expressed can be expressed we can bring out that ishwaratvam from within from ourselves and ishwar pranidhana is an absolute surrender of course practically to understand comparatively if you have to understand we can say it is a total surrender complete surrender to the god understanding that ishwaratvam ishwara as a god or god as an ishwara so using the word or itself that is wa the word wa used itself is sufficient by saying ba ishwar pranidhana alone irrespective of the practices other than asana pranayama and so many kriya bandhas mudras and all the varieties of hatha yoga practices which we see patanjali says ईश्वर प्रणिधाना इट सेल्फ इज सफिशियंट फॉर दे चित्तवृत्ति निरोध ईश्वर प्रणिधाना इन पतंजलि योग सूत्र वॉज यूज थ्राइस वन दिस इज द नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सूत्र एंड सेकेंड टाइम इट इज यूज इन दि अष्टांग योग वेन पतंजलि डिस्क्राइब्स द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ नियम in that shauta santosha tapasvadhyaya ishwara pranidhana and also when he defines and discusses about kriya yoga in the kriya yoga patanjali brings ishwara pranidhana tapasvadhyaya ishwara pranidhana ni kriya yoga ha he calls it he defines what is kriya yoga and when it is said pranidhana it is pra prakarshena it is complete intense absolute surrender when it is said absolute surrender there is not an iota a drop of asmita an absolute egoless state commonly all of us know it is the bhakti yoga even when the bhakti yoga is discussed by the many acharyas adi shankara acharya defines bhakti very nicely he says moksha sadhana samagriyam bhakti riva gariyasi sva swarupa anusandhanam bhakti ritya bhiriyate of all the paths leading to moksha bhakti marga is the best and what is bhakti sa swarupa anusandhana becoming one with oneself is nothing but the state of chitta vritti nirodha even without asmita level the purushatva anas so ishwara pranidhana is independent of the so many methods taught and chitta vritti nodha has to be accompanied by ishwara pranidhana that is why 
people say yogis and gnanis say the importance of ishra pranidhana so it is repeated thrice in patanjali yoga sutra and this practice of ishra pranidhana is the important dimension in the entire yoga darshana and generally people say that i practice asana i practice pranayama and skip on saying that what are all the things a person does it but i don't believe in the god i don't believe in the ishwara such talks patanjali keeps it aside being a yoga practitioners being a yoga sadhaks being yoga abhyasis we should remember ishwaratvam ishwara is an important component of the entire yoga practice and do ishwaratva ishwara concept and the stage of the ishwara is within us as an unfoldment and to be unfolded to be experienced but with all practical dimensions ishwara pranidhana is a surrendering to the lord and god with that dimension of ishwara it is pranidhana it is called prani is a very important word somebody does a sashtanga namaskar we say it is pranipata it is called so totally absolute surrender so as a result of the special devotion which is bhakti love of the god and ishra pranidhana is included or put forward as a totally single separate alone path by maharshi patanjali and keeping that important understanding of ishwara in the yoga practices further maharshi patanjali defines describes what is ishwara what is the idea of ishwara who is an ishwara that definition follows in the next sutra number 24 which we shall see in our coming sessions o शांत शांत शांत